The time period between 8th and 11th century AD is called the Viking Age because during that time Norsemen from Scandinavia were engaging in a lot of raiding, colonizing and trading throughout Europe. They conquered and pillaged many regions such as the British Isles, Normandy, Iceland and even the surroundings of Kiev in Ukraine all the way up until to Constantinople. In this video we're gonna talk about Vikings on drugs. What drugs and mushrooms did Vikings use in battle? Make sure you click like and subscribe as well for future videos about health and performance. Numerous old Norse sources talk about a specific group of warriors called berserkers who were notorious for their savagery and trance-like fury. The berserkers were those troops that were sent out intentionally to go wild and to kill as many of the enemy as possible. The word berserk in modern English means furiously violent or out of control. In Old Norse, berserker meant bear shirt because they also wore bear skins as coats. By putting on the animal, you become the animal. So you shed everything that is human. You put it all aside and you become the bear. Berserkers were considered elite warriors who could do inhuman things and show feats of impossible strength. They would go into insane frenzy before battle, screaming and howling, biting their shields and making their enemies think they're some kind of beasts. The rage berserkers exhibited was called berserker gang or berserk frenzy. It was described by superhuman strength, madness, rage, shivering, teeth grinding, chills of the body, face swelling and change of the skin color. They don't feel when they're being stabbed or cut, it doesn't slow them down, they continue on in this berserker rage. In this state, berserkers would charge into battle and cut through everything in their path, mostly their enemies, but sometimes also allies. After this rage ceased, they would become very feeble, weak and sick for several days like infants. Almost like coming down from a massive drug high. It's thought that they may have even have used hallucinogenic drugs to kind of work themselves up into a frenzy. And they would fight with great ferocity and they would become berserk. A Viking grave in Denmark contained seeds to a plant named Hyoscyamus niger, also known as henbane or stinking nightshade. It's poisonous in large quantities and in Indo-European languages is described as crazy plant. Some of the effects are thought to include hallucinations, magical powers, visions and miraculous abilities. During the late middle ages, henbane was demonized and associated with witchcraft. The symptoms of henbane toxicity have been analyzed to be similar to the symptoms of berserker gang, which suggests that it was at least one of the psychoactive substances the Vikings used. Vikings also used hallucinogenic mushrooms such as Amanita muscaria or fly agaric and Amanita pantherina or panther cap. Both of them are poisonous and can produce temporary psychoses. The genus of Amanita is more deadly and will kill the eater because of containing hemolysin that breaks down red blood cells. Fly agaric has its name because of being able to kill flies, bedbugs and other insects. It also produces intoxication, hallucinations and delirium. You might recognize Fly Agaric from the Super Mario franchise as it's the mushroom that levels up Mario and makes him bigger. It's me, Mario! Although classified as poisonous, human deaths from Fly Agaric are very rare. One of the psychoactive compounds in Fly Agaric includes Muskimol, which is a GABA receptor agonist, causing sedative, hypnotic, depressant and hallucinogenic effects. Because GABA receptors are everywhere in the brain, Muskimol is going to alter neuronal activity in many regions including the cerebellum, hippocampus and cerebral cortex, the regions responsible for emotions and higher executive thinking. Other psychoactive compounds in fly agaric are ipotenic acid, also known as ipotenate. Symptoms of ipotenic acid exposure include euphoria, confusion, distorted visuals and memory loss after the high. One final potential contributor to berserker rage might have been the poisoning of the fungus Claviceps purpurea that grows on the ears of rye and other cereals. It contains lysergic acid dithalamide, which is a compound used to synthesize LSD. However, the likelihood of Vikings stumbling upon this fungus and deliberately using it in battle is less likely than the use of mushrooms and other medicinal plants. Other explanations for the Berserker Gang include self-induced hysteria, epilepsy and mental illness. Clinical psychologist Jonathan Sway also connects the Berserker Rage with the hyperarousal of post-traumatic stress disorder. Basically, PTSD victims, especially war veterans or soldiers who've been in combat, can get triggered very easily into explosive rage, wherein they resemble the characteristics of Berserker Gang. Although PTSD may have similar effects of hysteria and confusion, it's more likely the berserkers were actually using hallucinogenic drugs and mushrooms to induce their rage. 
There's certainly also an element of culture and social norms that played into this. Even regular Viking warriors were notorious for the savagery and wildness. The berserkers were just on another level because of psychoactive compounds and training. This video is just an explanation into the prevalence of different drugs and psychoactive compounds in warfare to enhance performance and aid in PTSD. You can check out my previous video talking about Nazis on drugs as well. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.